Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is going to be part two of my Sunday morning beach walk at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. It's about 8, oh, 8.23 maybe, sometime between 8.20 and 8.25. 74 degrees, I'm up in area five at the north end. As you can see, there's nothing left up here in area five. Very desolate. No parking lot or anything. Look at this. Nothing here. You can see more of this later today. I did a little beach report from up here. Sad, but it will be rebuilt. It takes time. Be patient. It's going to be awesome when it gets rebuilt. We're going to take a little stroll down the beach until my battery gives out on me. It's probably going to be a short walk here. Do check back later. Some beautiful colors this morning. Gorgeous, glorious colors. It's quiet here today. Of course, it's a bit of a hike with parking lots being closed up at the north end only two parking lots still open here one and two so you gotta hoof it and don't cross this rope line here stay out of there that's where our dunes used to come out to we want to give our dunes a chance to grow back again hit that share button I know there's a lot of people that love Del Norwegans they love to see this. This morning was my Del Norwegian's morning. Did you happen to catch our first light live feed this morning? That was fun. This is the part of the park that got hit really, I think, the worst up here, Area 5, being close to the pass. That's where that storm surge just came right in the pass and just kind of swept across the whole north end of the park here taken everything out it was a mess a mess a mess a mess I have no clue what the timeline is for rebuilding I'm hoping I can get a little information maybe from Ranger T from Terrence that I can share with you one of these days just a little tidbit at least Maybe a little glimmer of hope. I saw Kevin out here, Ranger Kevin, our friend Kevin. Up by Wiggins Pass. Thanks for the stars. I do appreciate that. Starting to get a little worried. Didn't see anybody hardly on here this morning. Not sure if Facebook's playing games with me. They don't like me. I'm not one of their puppets. They've actually blocked several of our beach friends. Some of our good beach friends. Facebook. That's what I think of Facebook, the, the raspberry. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a necessary evil until something better comes along. Maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days. We'll get a better platform. But for now, we're stuck with this. One thing I am noticing is lots of railroad vine. That's our first step in rejuvenation, the revitalization, the dunes rebuilding themselves. That railroad vine starting to creep out with all its little violet colored flowers, pinkish purple flowers, also known as the beach morning glory. I can't get up in there to show it to you. <laughs> So 
So when you come to the park, you're kind of on your own. You got to bring your own water, snacks. There's no concessions here. No amenities other than this beautiful beach and a couple parking lots. No grills. You're not supposed to be grilling here either. Remember, you're not allowed to consume alcoholic beverages at Del Norwegans. A lot of people forget that. Don't make our rangers have to come and remind you. Speaking about reminding you, I'm sure I'm not speaking to you, but there are people, help spread the word, there are people that come in here and they don't pay their entrance fees. It's the honor system now. And there's people that come in here and don't pay. I think they got an attitude, well, like the park is, doesn't have much here to offer, but why should I pay? That's ridiculous. Be honorable, pay. Without you paying, how is the park supposed to rebuild? Think about it. <laughs> and I prefer those people just stay the heck out of here. We don't want them on our beach anyway. Stay home. Go to your pool or something. So please, please, please pay your entrance fees. It's easy to do. You can do it on your phone. They got a QR code. Just scan it, boom. Or drop cash in. One of the little, I think, the blue envelopes. If you'd like to round it off, it's six bucks for a carload of people. If you'd like to round it off to ten bucks, give our parks a little help. That'd be awesome. The more the merrier. And of course, if you'd like to send a donation directly to Del Norwegian's Pass State Park to help them directly, that money for the entrance fees is shared by all of our Florida state parks. And Wiggins is a money maker for our Florida State Parks. But if you'd like to send a direct donation, contact Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. And they can handle your donation and get it right to the park. It'll be in good hands. Did take a little stroll along the south shore of Wiggins Pass this morning. I haven't checked the video. I hope it turned out. I hope it wasn't too noisy. There was a pretty good little breeze up the pass here. It's not bad. I'm just blocked by the trees. Yeah, it's just glorious. Other than these clouds, not full sun here. You know, just because it's not full sun. Don't think that you can't get sunburned out here. This is very deceiving when the sun's behind the clouds like this. It still lets those UV rays through just because it's not bright sunshine. You can get a sunburn just almost as bad as you could in full sun. So keep that in mind. You fair skinned folks that come down from up north. My Irish friends. <laughs> Irish. Ooh. You know what that reminds me of? You got that right. Slantia Irish whiskey. Oh man. That is awesome. If you guys like Jameson, you need to try Slantia Irish whiskey. You might be putting that Jameson on the back shelf. Not only are they good friends of mine, the founder of the company, but it's good stuff. Good morning. Check it out. It's If you be patient, wait till next week. I'm going to put a little promo on Southwest Florida Television's Facebook, and you'll be seeing that and hearing about that periodically through the holidays. I got a code for a 15% discount on Slancha if you order online. So that's a good deal. A good deal. I'll tell you what the code is, but it doesn't work yet. It's SWFLTV, SWFLTV, like South Coast Florida Television, SlantaWhiskey.com. That's all I'm going to say about that. Get up here, I want you to see the beach. We walked 
actually I spent probably the first half of part one this morning of part one's live feed in the water. I love walking in the water. It was low tide. It's always nice looking back at the beach from the water and seeing the reflections of that early morning light. Not exactly sure where I am in the park. I think I'm a little south of area Roy. I don't think this is the north end of area four. Don't like what I'm seeing here. Somebody drug a cooler or something. And the tracks go right under that rope. Shame on them. Stay out of there. Please, people, stay out of there. Looks like there's a big sinkhole back in there. Hard to tell. I'd love to get a little ride back in there to the back of the park to see what it looks like. I know a lot of you would like to see that. Problem is, you know, when we share stuff like that, instead of just watching it and to get a better understanding of what things look like and what's going on, people got to make really stupid comments on social media. So nobody wants to deal with that nonsense. Florida State Parks doesn't want to see your stupid comments. I don't want to see the stupid, not yours, but the dumb comments of all the negative Nellies out there. They can't see any good in anything. All they can see is the bad. Don't you, don't those people make you want to puke? <laughs> the know-it-alls. You can go through and look at, I posted some pictures of the Naples Pier last week. Check out some of the rude comments on there. All the people that know better. They're all contractors. Everybody watching is a contractor and an engineer. They know best how to rebuild the Naples Pier. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> it's a good laugh. Social media does make me laugh a lot when I read comments. What do they say? Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> look at this look at all the beach we got here I mean it's sad the reason we have all this extra beach but now we have all this beach and when the parking lots get open new parking lots get built and it gets opened up up here man Look at all this beach that you're going to have. You still have it. You just got to walk. Drag all your stuff with you. <laughs> oh, look what I see over here. Hmm. I can't tell. I'm thinking... That's a gopher tortoise. Not sure if it's a rabbit, a little marsh rabbit, or a gopher tortoise. Set of tracks down there. It's nice to know though. Comes from up there in the woods. Sweet. Where's some railroad vine? it all the way out to here. See it down here? That railroad line's taken over up in here. It's awesome. That's just the first, the first step of vegetation to hold our dunes together. Look at it all up in there. Can you see it? It's not the best lighting, but there's some really heavy patches of it.
Incredible. Peaceful morning here. I wish you were here with me. Just give you a peek at that water. This walk here is more about being up on the beach and letting you see what it's looking like. There is a little drift algae out in the water in places. I noticed more of it down at the south end of the park. Down in there is one and two. That kind of seaweed looking stuff. But it's not it's not gonna hurt you, not gonna do anything to you. You can step on it, walk through it. But it is quiet for a Sunday morning. Yesterday it got busy here. What they'll do is, you know, when the parking lots fill up, they close the front gate. They still allow walkers and bicycle riders into the park. You can have one of our local shuttle services drive you in. They'll allow that. Naples Park Shuttle brings people in. You gotta check them out. You gotta put their phone number in your phone. Naples Park Shuttle. It's a great alternative mode of transportation here in North Naples. Just Vanderbilt, the Vanderbilt Beach area, and Naples Park area. Great way to get around in season, beat the traffic. Naples Park Shuttle, free transportation tips only. Keep that in mind. They'll bring you to Vanderbilt Beach or here to Del Nor Wiggins, take you to the movies, to the restaurants, bars, shopping, grocery store, whatever it is you need to do, just give them a call. And remember to leave a tip. Obviously, they got to make some money. Like me. <laughs> Tips are always appreciated. If you enjoy my live feeds and my other videos that I share and photos. I wish I was independently wealthy, but I spend a lot of time out here doing this. So if you enjoy it, send a tip every now and then. You YouTubers, click on that PayPal link. Same on Facebook. There's a link to my PayPal in the description of this post. Man can't live on the beach alone. I wish I could. <laughs> On beach alone, wish there was a way. It's good for your mental health, that's for sure. I need all the help with my mental health that I can get. see a whole lot of birds out here this morning. I was hoping to see a lot of birds. I thought that's where they'd be hanging out today at Del Nor Wiggins. This battery's getting ready to quit on me here pretty soon. So hit that share button. Well, there's still some time left. Looks like we're getting a little bit closer to civilization now. I see some folks set up on the beach, getting close to area two, parking lot two. Good morning. Again, man, it was gorgeous this morning. Do check back later for some of my, my first look video. Wow, well, go check out our first light live feed. I assume Facebook saved it. I don't know. 
beautiful, beautiful colors, glorious colors this morning. Might take me a couple days to get everything posted. Give you a look at this water here. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting to see this. Good morning. Waiting to see this beautiful water. That's what I'm talking about, Willis. <laughs> feels great 75 degrees is that water temperature it's awesome 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 Good morning. It is a good morning, isn't it? Oh, there goes my battery. Tiny low battery. Someday I'll be able to afford a new battery. I need a new phone. Maybe I should do a GoFundMe for a new phone. This is crazy expensive. Well, 200 stars. Get a penny for each star. What do you, let's see, half a gallon of gas? All right. Well, I got about a 40 minute walk home now ahead of me. Remember who's doing all the walking for you. Remember who got out here early to share those gorgeous colors with you. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them into our beach family. Plenty of room for new members. If you're ever out here on the beach, don't be hesitant in coming up and saying hello to me. Pretty obvious. You'll see I got my Slauncha Irish whiskey, my black Slauncha hat on. You see my iPhone on its gimbal. I got this little thing under my chin. Looks like a little furry mouse, my microphone. <laughs> Pretty easy to spot out here. I'd love to say hi to you. If by any chance you start walking over to me and I just like put my finger up and say hold on a minute it's just because I'm recording one of those videos where there's no talking or anything just beach sounds so I'm not being rude and blowing you off but if I'm doing my beach walk feel free to interrupt and love to show you on here Let everybody see who I'm talking to our awesome beach family got friends from all around the world Stopping by and saying good morning to me. I love it. Blows my mind. Thanks for allowing me into your lives and onto your screens. Parking lot two. Still kind of quiet. It's overcast. my friends that's going to do it for our Sunday morning beach walk thank you so much for hanging out with me whoever sent the 200 stars thank you let's 
see what happens tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'll be out here. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. May God bless you, your family, and God bless America. Say a prayer for the good old U.S. of A. Say a prayer for world peace. Amen. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. Pay your entrance fees at Del Norwegans. <laughs> no freeloaders. Tally ho, tally ho.